Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. We have a cool video. I want to show you some babies that have just shed out, okay? And I'll show you the parents, too. At least the dad. The mom is deep in shed, uh, but I'll show you the dad, okay? He is Leo. A beautiful... Let me grab him. Sorry about the one-handed videography terribleness. That's my usual... <laughs> Leo uh, is a banana, and he is an enchi, and he's a pied, visual pied, okay? Enchi often makes low white pieds, which I like. Banana, obviously, is the awesome yellow color with the speckles, and pied, you all know what a pied is. For those of you who don't, though, it creates these patches where only some of him has his pattern, and some of him gets whited out. And some pies are very high white, where there's only a few splotches of pattern. Uh, obviously, this is a very low white individual, and I love him. Leo has sired a lot of clutches for us here at the Reptile Barn. Really good male. The mom, as I said, is deep in shed. Her name is Patsy. She is a pastel het pied, okay? So, uh, just looks like a pastel when she's not deep in shed. She's a big girl. Laid 12 eggs. Actually, 13, but only 12 of them were good. So... Here is the clutch, and I've got a bunch of tubs ready for them, because as soon as we film this, we're going to be separating them out. Very excited about this, guys. And I'm so sorry about the bad lighting, the shaky camera work, etc. Alright, so the genes involved. Three incomplete dominant genes. Pastel from the mom. Enchi and banana from the dad. And then pied to a het pied means some of these ought to be pieds and some of them should be het pieds. And that is exactly the case. So let's look through these beautiful babies. I think there was one normal het pie, so we'll start with her. And I'm saying her even though I haven't sexed her yet because with the dad being a banana, she's probably a female since she's not banana, okay? So that's most likely a female het pied. Guaranteed het pied, but most likely on the female part. No pastel, no enchi, obviously no banana, no pied, but still a beautiful, wonderful snake. So we'll put her away right here. And that's the only one like that. We also have a nice pastel enchi right here. Also het for pied, and very, very likely female. Pastel and Enchi go really, really nicely together. In pied or without pied. Just a beautiful little baby. Ball python. And these have been really good. No, no one's bit me or anything, you know, knock on wood. <laughs> now it's probably going to happen like 12 times, but... I'll put her away in her own little tub. Next, we have a couple of bananas, just regular bananas. Very, very popular snakes, as they should be. Probable male. And I don't think this one is pastel. He does have a very blushed out head, but the rest of his color just looks banana to me. Really, I just can't imagine the first person when... when uh, Bananas came into the country. What a treat. This gene has gone a long ways. People have made it into some incredible combos, but the single gene version is still just exquisite. Especially as babies. I like the spots as they age. I don't like the color change as they age, generally speaking. So that's a probable male banana het pied. We have at least one if not two more of those. Here's another probable male banana het pied, just like his brother. Put him away. Once these have all shed out like they have, I put them directly onto Reptichip. Some people don't, but I do. And here's the last one of those. Gently extricate him from his siblings. That's just a uh, Spagna moss down at the bottom, by the way, guys. So, the third banana het pied. 
Beautiful little guy. Probable male once again. Pull that out. S gently slide him in and close him up. All right, so they're set up with water and substrate and all that good stuff. Now, this, I believe, is a pastel banana. Even more blushed out head, more washed out color. That to me is a pastel banana het pied probable male. What a beautiful baby snake. Put him away. Say bye bye. He can go warm up on his hot spot. And the last non-visual pied, if I can detach him from his sister here, this is a banana enchi. Really, well, probable enchi. Could just be a weirdly banded banana. But the color is different, the pattern is different. Pretty sure that's a banana enchi. Het pied, probable male. Go ahead and put him away as well. Oh, we're back to the next row. Slide him in gently. Close him up. Now we're into the visual pies. We have two, actually three females most likely. And I'll tell you what happened here in a minute because it's fascinating. This, to me, is just about the perfect pattern distribution for a pied. Lots of pattern, lots of white, evenly or close to evenly distributed down the body. I, I love this pied. And it's almost certainly a female. Really nice color for just a regular pied, too. I always forget that as babies, they are nice and bright. Probable female. Visual Pied. Put her away, let her slither on home. Next up, one that I am extremely tempted to keep. Still haven't fully made up my mind. I probably won't keep her, but man, I love this snake. This is also female. She is a pastel pied, again, with the really, really excellent pattern distribution. A uh, little more white. I would have liked maybe one more saddle right there, but uh, just a gorgeous snake. Really nice. I like how pastel adds all this speckling into the saddles because even though the color will change as she ages, the pattern itself should stay pretty much like that, and I really, really like the pattern on this pastel pied, almost certainly a female as well. Now, the reason I have been saying almost certainly on all of these with the gender, because as I discussed, bananas are sex linked. And we'll talk about that maybe again in another video. There's been a lot of videos on this. But uh, generally, if it's a female banana, her offspring are going to be completely normal in their inheritance but if the male is the banana then he is either what's called a male maker or a female maker meaning if he's a male maker he's only going to pass banana on to his male offspring if he's a female maker he's only going to pass his banana on to his female offspring and the determination of whether he's a male maker or a female maker is whether he himself got his banana trait from his mom or from his dad Okay, so there are exceptions, and I have one here. We have here three different banana pieds, okay? The first one is just a banana pied, and I have sexed all three of these already, okay? That's how I know that something funny happened. Almost a smiley face on this one, by the way, or a ghost or something. This guy is a male, and he's just banana and pied, and he is beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. Okay. Look at him compared to this one. This one here is a banana enchi pied. So this is just with banana and pied. This is banana enchi pied. Okay, so let me put the banana enchi pied down for a second. This guy, I'm also tempted to keep, <laughs> is a banana pastel enchi pied. Okay, much more blushed out as you can see. Absolutely incredible looking compared to the banana pie down here. Okay, so let me put this male away. This one that I'm for sure is a male. That is a banana pied male. Okay. Now we have these two remaining. This one is a male, as expected, because it's banana. This one actually ended up a female. There are exceptions to the male maker and female maker concept, okay? And again, there's a genetic reason for that that is known and understood. We're not going to go into that in this vlog. These two, for me, are the cream of the crop. The best ones of the clutch, the ones I'm most tempted to keep. Especially this female here, this banana enchi pied female. Definitely keeping her. Haven't decided yet on the banana pastel enchi pied male or the pastel pied female that we showed you earlier. But, uh, wow. Look at these snakes. I am in love. Uh, yeah, what more can I say? Really, really, really enjoy this clutch. <laughs> I could probably keep all of them happily, but I won't. I have a waiting list for pides. A lot of these are actually claimed already, even though they literally just shed. That's just how it is, but uh, can't keep them all. Anyway, so I wanted to show you this clutch. I hope you enjoyed this. Some really, really beautiful babies. Um, and uh, yeah, so let me know what your favorite one was. And anything else you'd like to let me know in the comments. And until next time, we're the Reptile Barn.